Let's find the mass of one atom of phosphorus, that's P. And really all we're doing is we're taking the molar mass, actually in this case it's an atom, so the atomic mass, this is the average atomic mass, and we're dividing that by Avogadro's number right here. So let's do that. So we have the atomic mass for phosphorus. This is the average atomic mass, that's 30.97. And you can think about the units for this as grams per mole. So we have 30.97 grams for one mole of phosphorus there. Now we're going to multiply this by a conversion factor. So we know one mole of any substance that's made up of Avogadro's number of particles. So when we multiply this across, we have moles on the bottom and top. They'll cancel out and leave us with grams. What we're really doing again is we're just dividing this atomic mass of the substance by Avogadro's number. But this is a good way to make sure you get the right answer. So when we do the math, 30.97 divided by 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd, we get 5.14 times 10 to the negative 23rd in the units, that's going to be grams. If you wanted this in kilograms, you could just divide this by 1,000. That would make it a smaller number, 5.14 times 10 to the minus 26. Finally, if you were given an isotope of phosphorus, say you were given phosphorus 33, the phosphorus 33 isotope, what you would do is instead of this average atomic mass here, you'd take the mass number and put it in for this 30.97 and then when you do the math you'd end up with the mass of one atom of the phosphorus 33 isotope. This is Dr. B figuring out the mass of one atom of phosphorus. Thanks for watching.